For anything that you've ever rooted against yourself or worried about, did any of those things ever come to fruition? So, no. And that's like, that's Such kind a waste of, of energy. like the mental growth that you have to go through to stop doing bad stuff to yourself. And you need to surround yourself. Yeah. Be immersed people, in an environment that are like that. Well, you're kind of, what you're talking about too is kind of like why like that architect in San Francisco was such a good experience for me because he was pressure testing yeah it. he was telling me you failed and like these 10 areas you failed and how yeah. old were you oh I was fresh out of college I was 21 young. yeah and it was like my first chip RFI. on a shoulder this big oh yeah right and it like but fortunately for me I thrived on it because it like I always want to like but I do I think it is like trying to train that generation that that failure or that feedback is not bad. It's like, a good thing. It's so good for you. It's going to teach you. Because I remember when it first started happening, I thought it was bad. Like I, it, it's just the way you, like, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm, but then like, I always, I, I took a few minutes to feel bad about it. And then I like, okay, you want me? Like, I'll be like, oh, I'll show you. <laughs> like, Do you want to see, do you want to know how to discover where the mental midgets are in this yeah. industry? Go fail and watch who criticizes you. And it's just a coward move, right? Oh, yeah. Like, I laugh when people are like, I can't believe you did that. I'm like, you can't because you never would have tried. So that's why. You don't make mistakes if you're not going to try. We're a battleship. I'm not meant to be more to the pier. I'm supposed to be out there at sea in harm's way. And I'm I'm, I'm not going to play it safe. Like, have you ever had any great stories that started about that time you were sitting down with that kale salad and you and your sister? Oh, you probably do, actually. You probably love that kale <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't. I hate I, kale. My <laughs> husband tries to make me eat it all the time. I'm, no, he we does grow not. it in our garden. Well, it's full of nutrients. It's like he likes. He wants us to eat it to like like keep our bodies healthy. You know, there's way. vitamins for that, right? I take a bunch of those too. I don't <laughs> have to eat the kale. Might as well eat like, liver and onions. Oh yeah, I like put mangoes in it. But um, I was gonna go. What were? Oh, man, I had a comment before we got to kale and mangoes. I threw you off. Yeah, I was gonna make a comment about uh. I'm thinking what I was saying oh, is the criticism I, I of, enjoy yes. the critics That's that aren't like, in the arena. I they, they have the hypocritical standard, too, where they want to add the – they want to tell you everything you did wrong. Yeah. And you're like – And they don't have the courage to take a risk yeah, on their own. Yeah. Look at me. I didn't do anything. They want to give you all the feedback, especially when you failed. And But if you look at a lot of the people that uh, have added value to the world, they all came from – a major failure or desperation, like uh, even Steve Jobs, a memory completely failed. Oh, I could name dozens like tons, from Lincoln yeah, to. Tons. I would say. Even Mel Robbins, the girl I told you with the air high five in the mirror, she had like major depression and lost her restaurant business, and it took her losing everything to figure out how to come back. And But none of the factors that made her feel like that changed. The only thing that changed is the way that she viewed it. Yep. And it's a decision to make those changes, right? I think that we just pile so much fucking stupid shit on ourselves oh, and yeah. make it hard to pivot like that. But I was trying to explain the value of failing. The the value of failing on the up end and down end, right? There's an upstream and downstream to everything. And and on the upstream, the da- the benefit of failing hard is learning more. Now, the added benefit on the downstream of failing hard is, I forget which president, it could have been Eisenhower, is like, you know who your friends are when... Uh, you know who your enemies are when things are going bad and you know who your friend, you know, basically, you know, who your, you know, who your enemies are when things are going good. You know, who your friends are when things are going bad. What you want is you want to ring out your ecosystem. Like for me, I'm pretty, pretty I, I know a few folks in the space, but I'm more careful on who I spend my time with because every time I fail and I have people reveal their character to me, I, it, it allows me to discover how much I need a manicure that ecosystem of people that are in my orbit because I don't want that negativity around me or that fake. Or even the people who only want, who only want you in their life when you have something to offer. Like, like, Oh, you can give me this. You can give me that. Oh, they only called on you when you were a client or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, well, I mean, it's, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying, no, it's transparent. You can see it. Watch, watch like who it's the same thing about who you let in your system, in your solar system, because there can be people who will drag you down and they'll drag you down with them. And if you allow them to, then 